Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel, and I'm Darren. And today we're going to make some chicken feta spinach sausage. Homemade. I'm going to grind this all up myself. And what I've got here, I've got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and i got some chicken breast. And we're going to make about five pounds of sausage today. So I'm going to uh, make it probably about uh, 60 to 70 percent thighs and the rest breast, because I want some of that uh, fat from the thighs in there so I want most of that in there so it's about 60 probably 60 40 split between the thighs and the okay, chicken I'll, breast um, what I'm going to do here it's like a, I don't know if you've if you've watched my last sausage making video what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up this chicken in real small tiny cubes um, probably less than an inch in di diameter and what I'm going to do is cut it all up and then we're going to stick it in the freezer for about an hour so that the meat will tighten up so that when we run it through the grinder, that it uh, doesn't gum it up. It's going to go through a lot easier when it's not frozen all the way, but at least tightened up a lot. So and I'm going to cut them up. I'm going to go ahead real small, because we're only going to run this through the grinder once and then right into the uh, sausage casings. So I'm going to actually cut it up about that small. So just in maybe, you know, less than an inch cubes and we're going to throw it all in this bowl and we're going to chill it then when we take it out we're going to season it up and we're going to put the spinach and stuff in it so i'm going to go ahead and finish cutting up this chicken so we can get it in the freezer and then i'll be back showing you what we're going to do with the spinach oh. and everything else okay and what i'm going to do i actually had to reshoot this part of the video because uh after i shot it i found out that the audio wasn't working good so i just want to show you what i'm doing with the spinach and I've already cooked it, but I'm going to show you what I did. Um, you take about a quarter to a half a bag of bagged spinach you can get at the store, the whole spinach. Then you just take the stems off the end, just kind of de-stem it all as much as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, try to get as much of the stem off as possible. And then you just give it a quick uh, rough cut doesn't have to be chopped up real fine or anything you're just what you're trying to do is get it cut up smaller so that um, it mixes in with the chicken real well and just kind of like that just a rough chop doesn't have to look any pretty because this is remember this is getting ground up into into the meat grinder and then what we did is we actually added it to a pan with a little bit of olive oil and I took some dehydrated onion uh, about two tablespoons of dehydrated onion. I rehydrated it. And I use dehydrated onion just because it's a real small cut already and it'll work better with the sausage. And then we went ahead and heated it up and just sweated it down. And you'll see that in the video. And then we added just a little bit of the lemon pepper and just a little bit of garlic and just a little bit of the marjoram. We're not going to add any salt into this because the feta is kind of salty on its own. So that's why there's no salt in the seasoning. But So that's what we did. We got this all uh, sweated out. And that's all you want to do, just kind of sweat it out. And then we're going to let it come back down to room temperature. And when the chicken gets pulled out of the freezer, we're going to mix this in with it. It'll be, it'll be perfect. So, all right, guys. We'll see all you right, back it's in time to get this all mixed up. I pulled the chicken out of the freezer. It's nice and tight now. And I got my feta and my spinach, got my seasonings. And I did add a little bit over a, t a teaspoon of kosher salt in here. I did uh, kind of tasted the feta. And it's not quite as thought, thought, salty as I thought it would be. So I'm going to go ahead. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit, about a quarter of a cup of water, a little bit less, just so that um, the seasonings will get all mixed in together real tight. And I'm going to go ahead and spoon in my spinach just gonna get it all in there and we're gonna mix this up with our hands so that's why I got my gloves on I got some fresh gloves so we're nice and clean and I'm gonna put in about probably about a cup of this feta so I'm going to kind of eyeball it if it doesn't look like it's enough I'll add a little bit more but that looks like about a cup and it looks like it's about enough for now 
And I'm just going to kind of spoon this seasoning in a little bit. I don't want to over season it, but I don't want to under season it either. So and I'm going to make sure this gets all in there. So I think this is about good. I'm just going to get my hands deep into this and just probably about smush it out. I might add just a little bit more. Oh, I think the feta's good. Break up some of these bigger pieces with your fingers. But I think that's about good. It smells about right as far as the seasoning goes as well. You smell that lemon pepper. And that's it. I think I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands off a little bit here. And then we're going to fire up the meat grinder and I start stuffing. The, uh, casings all on. Remember, I used a pre-tubed one, so it's easy to get them on there. And I hope I got enough on there. If not, I got some extra left over. Got my bowl of water here to keep it all wet. Got my chicken ready to go. Everything's ready to go. I didn't tie off the end because I want that to uh, the air to be able to get out. And I'm going to go ahead and start running some through. See that? And I want to kind of push it down here at the end. And then we can go ahead and tie it off. Just kind of make sure, like I said, we still don't want it overstuffed. But we can kind of slide the meat down to fill in the casing more. And then that way we can tie it off. And that's about how thick you want it. Don't want it any thicker than that. Because then it'll, they'll start breaking when you try to uh, loop them up. So there you go. I'm going to finish up doing this and we'll be back. All right, guys. I got them all sausaged up. Got six and seven. So, and I'm going to get ready to uh, go ahead and vacuum seal them up. Two bags. I'm going to put six in one, seven in the other. And then we're going to drop them in the sous vide. The sous vide's already ready. And we're going to drop them in there just for about 45 minutes or so at 145. And that, what that's going to do is pasteurize them for us. All right, guys, I got the sausages out of the sous vide. And they are ready to cook up. I'm going to have these for dinner tonight. Chopped up some onions. And we're going to get these thrown in the pan and... Get them crisped up. <laughs> all right, all. It's done. I'm getting ready to make dinner. And dinner's almost ready. So I'm going to go ahead and taste this for you guys. Cut it up just so you can kind of see what it looks like inside. Give you a close-up. So you can see how nice it looks and juicy. I'll go ahead and... Mm. Man, that's pretty good. I know, I made it, but it's pretty good. It's um, comparable to any store-bought fresh sausage I've had from Sprouts or Publix or anything. And the feta, you can really taste the feta. Seasoning is just right. I'll put the recipe down below, guys. you got to try it. Get yourself a meat grinder if you don't have one. It's easy to do, and they're great. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.